What's going on YouTube? John Hammond here, still looking at more Pico CTF 2018. Now we are on the Grep 2 challenge, uh, 125 points. It says this one is a little bit harder. Can you find the flag in this location on the file system on the shell server here? Uh, remember, Grep is your friend. So they don't give us a link to download any files here, and we haven't gotten to that SSH or SSH keys uh, challenge to actually connect on our own to the shell server, like through the command line. So I'm just going to do it through their web shell, which I don't particularly like, but whatever. Uh, I guess I'll just live with it. My internet connection is still a little awful, so hopefully this isn't too bad. Uh, typing is, is slow. <laughs> you will want to just enter your username the first time that you try and connect, and then once you have an account, you can go ahead and connect with that uh, account set up. Oh, forgot my last name here. And then you can log in with the password that you use for the whole Pico CTF game and infrastructure. So now that we are in the shell, we can change directory to, once I right click and paste from browser, this location. And we now that we're in that directory, we can ls and see what we have to work with. We have a lot of files here, or at least seemingly a lot of directories and folders. So what I'm going to do is ls tac r to recursively look through them and see what we have. And we do have a lot of files in here. So significantly harder than the previous challenge when we just did grep one, right? It wasn't just one file to look through, now we have many. So we can still accomplish this very, very easily, though, because grep offers another flag. If I check out man grep, and I say flag not as the capture the flag, flag that we're looking for, but another argument or something that we can work with. So tack capital R will actually allow us to loop through stuff recursively. Um, I don't know if my shell is actually behaving or I've just lost connection here. Okay, so you could look through the man page, but if you wanted to, you know that we should just use run uh, grep minus r or tack r, and then that will give us recursive control. We can still go through lowercase o capital E, so we still get our Pico CTF flag format, and I'm typing this out, but the shell is just not working with it. So hopefully once this all loads, it will just bang out. Okay, awesome. So once we run this, it will find the file for us that has that string, and we can retrieve the flag just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to save it in a local copy, so flag.txt in our grep2 file. Oh, and I totally did not copy that for some reason. Please copy. There we go. Okay, cool. So that way we can mark grep2 as complete. Submit that, and we're good to go. Next challenge is Akashella, which is supposed to be a pun off of acapella, and I think this challenge got a lot of hate, <laughs> and I, I feel bad saying that. It's not It's not anything... It's not indicative of anything else or anything of the problem designer, but it, it just seemed like there were some struggle in this that it didn't need to be there. So it's never a bad idea to brush up on those Linux skills or learn some new ones before you set off on this adventure. Connect with netcat to this host import. So I'm going to move to the Akashella directory that I have. I'll netcat to it, and hopefully my internet connection handles this. Sweet! We haven't gotten access into the file system, but we aren't root. We have gotten access in the file system, but we aren't root. It's some sort of restricted shell. I can see what you're typing, but I can't see your... But I, uh, I can't see what you're typing, but I can see your output. I'll be here to help you all along. If you need help, just type echo help me, and I'll see what I can do. So let's just actually go ahead and try that. Echo help me with the exact same syntax they have with single quotes and exclamation point. And so you got this. Have you looked for any directories? So I haven't yet. Let's just go ahead and ls, look for some stuff. And these are supposedly directories. So I guess I'll change directory into secret. It says, now we're cooking. Take a look around and tell me what you find. So I'll ls again to just list stuff. And it says, sabotage them. Get rid of all their Intel files. So what I'm going to do, rather than going and typing through Intel 1, Intel 2, Intel 3, etc. just by hand, I'm going to use Intel or RM to remove and then Intel underscore asterisk. So any of those numbers will be kind of gobbled up by that wild card, and it says, nice, now they're all gone, I think I can drop you a file of an exploit. It says, type in echo, drop it in, which we can type for us, and it says, I placed a file in the executable folders, as it looks like the only place we can execute from. Run the script I wrote to have a little more impact on the system. So, let's go ahead into that executables file folder that we knew was there. I can't tab complete. <laughs> Uh, and then now is a new directory, I'm sorry, a new a new file in this directory, don't look here, so let's dot slash it, because we know that it is seemingly executable, and it spits out a lot of interesting hex, for some reason. 
Maybe it's doing some elite hacker thing. It says, looking through the text above, I think I found the password. I'm just having trouble with the username. Draft Serrano as we kicked out soon. Quickly, print the username of the stream so we can close our back door. Close our back door? Whatever. And, and log into the account directly. You have to find another way other than Echo. So what this is referring to is just trying to display your username. Like your your the username that you're running on the on the computer or sim, the simulated system that you're in. So you run the who am I command. It says elite hacker. Perfect. One second. Okay, I think I've got what we're looking for. I just need to copy a file to a place we can read. Try copying the file top secret in the temp directory into the passwords folder. So I think, I don't know if this has been patched, but I think a couple people tripped up on this and uh, I certainly did. But kind of a secret was that you had to move into the home directory to be able to properly move this direct, th this file. I don't know if this was patched. I don't know if this was fixed, but I know there was a lot of complaints about it. So we'll copy from the temp directory this file top secret into the passwords folder. And it says, quickly, go read the file. So let's go into the passwords folder. We know that top secret is now in there. So let's go ahead and display that cat out top secret. And it gives some spiel on Major General John Schofield and his West Point speech. I'm not a West Point guy. I went to a different service academy. Not that it was any better. <laughs> uh, and so we have the flag. Cool. Let's go ahead and mark that as complete. So you can kind of base your own opinion off of uh, that challenge. It's I, I thought it was peculiar, but a lot of people seem to trip up on it when we really shouldn't have had to. This next challenge is called Client Side is Still Bad. It's another web exploitation challenge. Uh, we can assume that we're going to be looking at JavaScript, right? So the client side programming language. Challenge prompt is, I forgot my password again, but this time there doesn't seem to be a reset. Can you help me? So let's check this link here. I should have opened that in a new tab. It says, welcome to the secure login server. Please enter your credentials to proceed. I'm going to control U to view the source, see what we're really working with here. Looks like we have a standard MD5 implementation, so we can check out that JavaScript code, but apparently it's not found. Apparently that just doesn't exist. So good to know. Rest of the HTML there is pretty boring and stupid. Looks like it is calling the verify function and then returning false kind of no matter who. And so that way it doesn't submit a form or anything. Um, but this verify function is de defined up here in this segment of JavaScript code. It looks like it just gets the element that we're typing in, so the password field, the password input, right? ID equals pass, get element by ID, get the value out of it. And then it's trying to split up what looks to be the flag in segments of four. And it's checking, okay, if the substring meets all this criteria, it says you got the flag. This is building out the flag for us, right? You can kind of see it coming to life in Pico CTF, client is bad, is your blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and put this together. I'm going to go into Sublime Text. And let's just, I'm going to grab with regular expressions anything that's inside of the curly braces here. In fact, I'll just find all and then cut them and then paste them in. So then I can... Now remove all the single quotes, I suppose, and let's save this to just put it in the client side is still bad. Uh, I guess like notes.txt that we, we could use here. Um, so now we can move into that directory and let's cat out notes.txt, but let's go ahead and reverse all the lines in there. Oh, did I do that wrong? Oh, yes. Uh, we want to not reverse each line, but the order of the line. So let's, let's tack. So reverse of cat tack notes.txt, and now we have it all there. So now let's remove all of the new lines and build out the flag here. And that's it. We can redirect that to flag.txt. You could build a, a, a script if you want to do that, or just a simple get flag script where you curl the, the page here. And, it, and you know what? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do some bash magic. Let's curl the page. Oh, I forgot. I have the view source in the link here. My bad. Okay. So now let's just get the first couple lines following it. So let's tail minus n. Is it plus one? I, I forget. I always forget how to get like the the last couple lines. Maybe that's not what I want. Let's get the last 20 lines. No. All right. Screw it. Let's use head. And let's get the first 20 lines. Okay, cool. Then we can try and run our cut command, where we cut with uh, the single quote as a field delimiter. Let's get the second column here. And let's 
head or tail just this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. Two minus n. I guess eight because we want the curly brace at the end. Let's tack s to silence curl. Then let's go ahead and tack to reverse all these and, and then remove all the new lines just as we've done before. So we keep adding on to our, our pipe and eventually we will just carve out the flag just like that. So that is kind of our standalone get flag script which works pretty well for us and it does some some nice one-liner bash magic so that's pretty cool. Mark that as executable. We've already got our flag right? Yep so let's just ch pipe that into our clipboard Go ahead and submit it. 150 points, and we're still cruising. Awesome. Cool. Mark this challenge as complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was kind of cool. Uh, for one thing, just doing some bash magic at the very, very end there, and then exploring some of the interesting challenges <laughs> that, that Pico CTF has. So. Hey, quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. I cannot say it enough. Uh, I say that every time and it's still not enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One dollar a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. I know it's not much, but it's just a little like, hey, make your heart feel good. You're you're a good Samaritan. You're helping a dude like me put food on the table. And, I, and I'm grateful for it. I really appreciate it. Five dollars a month will give you early access to any of my videos that I release on YouTube because I try to record a lot of videos uh, kind of like ahead of time, right? Get a backlog of content and then gradually let YouTube release them by a schedule. If you want the content right when it's ready, right when it's hot, fresh out of the oven, that's the best way to do it. And I'm grateful for, for your support. So if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me grow, helps the channel grow. Please do join our Discord server, link in the description. It is a cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. You can hang out with me and other cool people. Uh, we're going to be tackling other competitions like this. Pico CTF 2018 was awesome. Uh, and for people that are still like going to be we're using it as a war game or a reference to kind of learn from, just getting started and capture the flag, that's awesome, and it'll never go away. Like the, the, That's an incredible resource. And if you want to team up, do some cool stuff with other cool people as other CTFs come down the line, it's a great place to do that. I'm talking too much. Thanks, guys. I love you. Hope to see you in the next video. Hope to see you on Patreon. Hope to see you in real life someday. I don't know. We can meet up. Share a beer. It'd be cool.